Automated planning is designed to speed up the planning process. The algorithm behind it generates a rough cut plan considering stock constraints, capacity constraints, and top line parameters constraints. Before you start, you have to decide which work centers or production lines, and which time periods to plan. Then, click on the automated planning button to pop up the automated planning dialog. In the dialog, choose work centers or production lines, and time periods you are willing to plan. To start the automated planning process, click OK. In case you don't pick any planning parameters, a so-called zero closing stocks plan is created. Note that if you don't choose any work centers and time buckets, a complete plan covering all work centers and all time buckets over the planning horizon will be generated. The zero closing stocks plan is made up of quantities that have to be produced to bring your closing stock levels to zero, taking into account open stocks and demanded quantities. If you'd like to go beyond zero stocks and to close your planning periods at target stock levels, you have to impose stock constraints on the plan. To accomplish this, simply place a tick in the stock constraints checkbox. Now, in this case, closing stocks are at the desired levels, but you may notice that in the first time bucket, required time to manufacture planned quantities on production line CW is higher than the available time. To make your plan comply with this limit, place a tick in the capacity constraints checkbox. When both stock constraints and capacity constraints are carried out, capacity is fully utilized within the precision range, but closing stocks are below target stock levels. It can also be seen, that, in this example, top line parameters values are above top line parameters constraints. If you'd like automated planning to take into account top line parameters constraints while building the plan, tick the top line constraints checkbox. After applying all the limiting options, your top line parameters values are supposed to be below your top line parameters constraints, required times to produce your planned quantities must be lower than the corresponding available times and your closing stocks have to be higher than zero, but less than your target stock levels. There are three more planning parameters to be mentioned. No stockouts, directs the algorithm to close selected planning periods at least at zero stock levels. Multiplicity, forces automated planning to calculate planned quantities as multiples of minimum lot sizes. And finally, round to unit makes the method plan in whole numbers. If this is not your preference, remove the tick from the checkbox. Thanks for watching, you can check out planningtools.net website, and planning tools channel on YouTube for more videos.